Do you know the god who wears snakes around his neck, a tiger skin, and is covered in ashes? He is Lord Shiva who dances in cremation grounds among burning bodies and sits meditating on Mount Kailash. Shiva along with Brahma and Vishnu is responsible for creating, protecting and destroying the universe. Brahma is the creator, Vishnu is the protector and Shiva is the destroyer. Parvati is the wife of Shiva and they are considered to be the father and mother of the universe. They have two sons, Ganesha and Karthikeya. Shiva has four hands and in three of them he holds a deer, a club with a skull attached at one end called the Katwanga and a Trishul to which is attached a small drum shaped like an hourglass. One day Shiva came to earth. Some sages and their wives were praying there. When they saw Shiva, the women left their prayers and went to meet him. The sages were not happy with this and sent a tiger to attack Shiva. Shiva killed it with one hand, took off its skin and wore it as a shawl. The sages then made a deer jump at Shiva. But he caught it in one of his four hands and held it there always. Then the sages created a very poisonous serpent and sent it to Shiva. But Shiva simply caught the serpent and wore it around his neck as a necklace. Shiva is therefore called the Lord of Serpents. The sages then sent a frightening dwarf to attack Shiva with a club called Katwanga. Shiva took the club and held it in his third hand while he pinned the dwarf down with his foot. By now, Shiva was very angry and started to dance furiously. Everybody, including the sages, were charmed and stopped to watch the dance. Sage Bharata wrote the rules of Bharatanatyam after watching him dance. Shiva wears a thin moon in his hair. He is also known as Chandrasekhara, which means one crowned by the moon. From the moon gushes a stream of water. This is the river Ganga. Shiva is also called Gangadhara or the one who wears the Ganga. This is an interesting story. 
Once there was a king called Bhagiratha whose ancestors were sent to hell. He was told that if the Ganga came down to earth from the heavens to wash their sins away, they would go to heaven. So Bhagiratha went to Ganga who said, I can come to earth but someone must be able to stop me otherwise I will go down to hell. Bhagiratha went to several people but none of them were capable of stopping the great rush of the divine river. Finally, Bhagiratha was advised to go to Shiva. Shiva agreed and Ganga began her journey to earth. She came down with a great force. Shiva let loose his long hair and caught the Ganga in his locks. Shiva has a third eye on his forehead. One day, his wife Parvati playfully covered both his eyes and the whole universe became dark. Everything stopped moving, for without Shiva, nothing can exist in this world. This is when his third eye appeared. Shiva rides on the bull called Nandi. In most Shiva temples, Nandi is shown sitting outside looking in at his master. People offer prayers to Nandi before going in. The name Shiva means auspicious one or one who brings good luck. This name is appropriate for Shiva as he always protects his devotees and gives them true happiness.